Hi Rattle Me, it's Miss Connolly here and today I'm going to read you one of my all-time favourite books called Giraffes Can't Dance. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim but his knees were awfully bandy and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthogs started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango, which was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel. And eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked towards the floor, but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all laughed. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, don't be daft. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up to the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on, but sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying of the grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that that lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing around. He threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I am dancing. Yes, I'm dancing. I'm dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer we've ever, ever seen. How is it that you can dance like that? Please, Gerald. Tell us how. But Gerald simply twizzled around and finished with a bow. <laughs> then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find the music that we love. All right, that's the end of that book. I hope to see you all soon back at Rivalmere. All right, keep reading. See you later, guys. Mm -hmm.